Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back once again to Creations by Simone. What day is it today, guys? It is Wednesday. That's right. And every Wednesday here at the channel, we feature Wedding Wednesday. Now, we give some great advice for our future bride-to-be, or we'll make some fantastic table decor. We'll just do anything to make her day special. So, guys, today we're going to do something really nice. I know you're going to absolutely love it. We are going to do a DIY for the table. We are going to do wedding menus, guys. That's that's right and I'm gonna have all that information down in my description box below and I am so excited about doing this and I hope you are as well and as I say in every video let's do this all right my lovelies as you can see I'm going over the items here that we're going to use for our wedding menus now what you're gonna to have to do is create your own wedding menu normally you can get that off Zazzle you can pre-order them or you can just make something on the computer through Word um, it's very easy to do and this is something that you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money to do that's why we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this cute DIY now what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a little of my um, paper out this beautiful paper I got from um, Michael's guys the cardstock that's what it's called and it has these beautiful embellished black like rhinestones on it it is so pretty and what I took is just a birthday card that I had and I just used that as my template and I cut a square out and as you can see that looks absolutely stunning all right so what I'm gonna do now is I have my menus now like I said, you can order these off Zazzle. Um, Zazzle is a site that you can order all types of stationery, invitations on, or you can go to Word um, in Outlook. Not Word, I think it's what's that other one? PowerPoint. You can get like a, a template there, and then you can create your own menu as you like. But I got this actually, I got this one from Zazzle because it had a little design on it and everything. So basically, all I had to do was put what I wanted in there, what I wanted um, for my menu. So I just put everything in there. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is just trim this up a little because what we're going to do is we're going to place it on top of our um, blinged out uh, card stock. But I'm gonna layer it. We're gonna have a black and then we're gonna have a silver. Then we're gonna actually have the menu itself. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to cut a portion of my silver out. Now I want this to be a little bigger than the menu, but smaller than the black um, blinged out card stock because this is gonna be like, um, see how, let me show you how that's gonna be. So it's gonna like sit under there so you'll still be able to see the silver, but you will also um, see the black as well. So I guess, we, I don't know how you would say this. Um, I guess we're making like a border, a silver border. I guess that's what you would call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this guys and cut this out right quick. And I'm using my card here again. Now I had to do it over because the first one didn't come out right. I didn't cut it um, large enough. So I went on and I did it a second time. Now this is large. I don't want it this large, but I will be able to form it to the size that I actually wanted it uh, to be. The first time I did it exactly as the menu itself and it wasn't able to show any silver around and I do want that border. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this up a little bit. I'm not going to keep it the same size. We're going to trim it down. And what we're going to do, as I said, this is going to lay on top of our black blinged out cardstock. And look at that. That is so, so pretty. All right, my lovelies, let's go ahead and we are going to super glue this. Now, as you can see, guys, it looks a little off. Um, as far as the borders are concerned, I didn't have a ruler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it up a little bit. I think by trimming trimming it up, it will turn out just a little better. So I'm fast forwarding through this, guys, and voila, we are finished. And look how beautiful that is. Trimmed it up a little bit, and I even um, rounded off my edges too, the silver um, part, and that looks even better i love this card stock it was actually on sale at michael's it was like 159 and then i think they had about 10 or 20 percent off so it was relatively very inexpensive now what i'm going to do is go ahead and add my rhinestones now these are rhinestones that i got from amazon i don't particularly like the rhinestones at dollar tree even though we're making this a diy 
menu. We don't want it to look cheap. We want it to look classy. We want it to just a little pizzazz to it when we set it on our tables and the lights are shining. We want that, um, that rhinestone to just glare off the lights and make it look really beautiful. And I think with the Dollar Tree, um, the Dollar Tree glam, it just doesn't give that sparkly look. So I wanted to go all out on this one, so I ordered from Amazon. Now basically all I am doing is just putting the edges around my menu. As you can see, I have my menu right there, but um, I want to put a little bling around the outer edges of that. So basically all I'm doing, guys, is just taking this off, if I can get it off. Okay, if I can get it off. I got it, guys. I got it. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just put it on the edges right here. As you can see, got to be really careful there. And almost there, almost there. All right, got it. Almost got it. Okay, got it. All right, my lovies, look at that. That looks really, really pretty. Now, you just have to make sure it's lined up, um, but so far, so good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other sides as well. Alright my lovies, we're going to go ahead and go to the second menu now. I've already cut the template out um, of the backboard and I have my menu here. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to super glue that on and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our cute little rhinestones. Now I got these rhinestones from Michaels but I'm really having second thoughts about them. Um, this is actually my second time filming this. This really gave me a hard time. For some reason the rhinestones are just are not coming off right. Um, when you peel them off, it's hard to peel off, I guess, because the design of them. And then when you try to put them on the paper itself, it's just not working. And I really don't like it. As you can see, it's getting tangled up. So I think I'm going to have to go a different route. I'm really trying here because I think they are so pretty. And I do want to work with them, but um, they're not coming out right, guys. So I believe this was an epic fail. So we're going to go on to the next uh, thing. So what I did was I wanted to use these because they were so, so pretty and they had two little like uh, diamond pearl drops on them. So what I did is I took the pearl drops off, the diamond, I guess you can call them pearl drops. Um, I took those off and I put one at the very top and I'm going to put one at the bottom and I think that looks absolutely beautiful. It makes it look really, really elegant. I didn't want to just waste this. As you can see, I have rhinestones everywhere. They're all on my fingers. This just didn't lay right um, and it didn't peel right. I don't know if it had been sitting too long, but I was very disappointed with that. But all is well. It turned out cute, guys. All right, so let's go to our third menu. Now, I'm really excited about this one. I think this is so cute. Now, the first two that we have was more um, wider. They had width to them, but this one is a longer one. It has length. So basically, same concept. Um, I already cut everything out, guys. Gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, hot glue our menu to our template here. Get that on there and stick that down and make sure it is on there really, really good, guys. And this is really simple. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a beautiful little embellishment in the corner. First, I gotta get this down. Okay, we're having a hard time here. Okay, let's see. We got it, we got it, we got it. All right, so once we have this all done, guys, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my beautiful little rose here, my black rose. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the greenery off of it because we don't want that to show on our menu and basically I am just going to put some hot glue on there and we are going to stick that in the corner and this is going to be so so pretty guys look at that that is so beautiful I am loving it look at that isn't that cute guys all right and what I'm going to do to add a little extra beauty to it is I have some of the um, embellishment left that I had from the second one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a cute little 
um, teardrop in there, a crystal teardrop on that as well. All right, my lovey. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see all three and see how they turned out. All right, guys, so far, so good. As you can see, everything looks really well. Now, on this one right here, I wanted to go back. This was the very first one I did. I want to just um, round the edges off a little bit. As you can see, um, they look a little square, so I do want to round those off. I think they look a little better when you round the edges. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, very easy, guys. Just go over to the corners and just round that off. All right, my lovey. Almost there. We are working this. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a menu to remember. We're going to like the menu better than we're going to like the food. How about that? All right, my lovely. All right, so I think I got that all squared away. Looking good. Now let's see all three guys. Absolutely beautiful. This is a beautiful menu to set on your play setting. All right, we have made it once again to the end of another awesome and beautiful creation here, Creations by Simone, where we create beauty one creation at a time. Guys, I am so loving these dinner menus for your table. I think they are absolutely beautiful. This gives your table some pop, pizzazz, and it lets your guests know what they're in store for. All right, my lovies. Well, if you love the video, you know what to do. I am so happy that you continue to stop by every Wednesday for some awesome wedding tips for your special day i will see you next wednesday i have an awesome close collab with three lovely ladies and we're going to show you how to make some beautiful centerpieces so i hope to see you next wednesday guys all right my lovelies until we meet again have a beautiful and blessed evening day wherever you are and once again thank you for stopping by to show your love and support for wedding wednesday i'll see you on the next video bye